Hello there, this will be a very short video of me trying to explain how I fixed the, uh, all the issues that I had with um, with um, Elgato and their equipment, uh, especially when it's come to be able to use NVIDIA RTX SDK to remove the background uh, from my web camera, also using the NVIDIA RTX effects when it's come to remove the background noise, uh, rooms echo uh, that my microphone picked up. And um, I tried to fix this problem, those issues for so many weeks. I emailed Elgato uh, back and forward. I also talked with NVIDIA customer support and uh, without any success in the first week, but I never gave up. So this is my solution to this problem and it works for me now. However, it doesn't work as it's uh, supposed to work according to the manual and the, uh, the documentation that they have posted in the Elgato webpage. Um, but hopefully this video will help some of you there because I know so many seems to have a problem with this uh, issue. By the way, my, my equipment is um, quite simple. I have a Elgato webcam and I also have a Elgato microphone wave 3. Uh, this is my screen as you can see and uh, I want to show you the settings that I have done to make this work and we can start with the first settings that you probably will do and that is the audio settings down here and uh, where you sound uh, shows an output for the system sounds. And in my case, I know this is on Swedish, my operating system language or in Swedish, but I hope you will understand this anyway. Uh, my output, I have, uh, I have selected Wavelink system as my output. That's the first step. And that's, that's, so that's very simple. And I think that's also according to the, to the setup, uh, to the guide that they have on the webpage. Uh, next step is going to Wavelink here and uh, my uh, monitor uh, here is my headphones that I have connected to my, my uh, Wave 3 microphone uh, and the monitor here is my uh, stream which means that it's uh, also according to the guide on uh, the web page. However, uh, when I try to enable NVIDIA RTX according to the documentation, uh, you're supposed to be able to, first you should go to the settings here and you're supposed to be able here and search for uh, modules. Uh, that didn't work at all. I did that and I was able then to, in this menu here, I was able to add NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal by Elgato, which is something I think they have developed uh, together with NVIDIA. Um, but if I did that, uh, the sound didn't work. It, uh, it's working fine when I just sitting and, and talk to my... Uh, sit and, and talk when I'm not in the game. The sound come true uh, with some delay, but it, it, it worked okay. But as soon as I enter and start a game and uh, try to... Uh, try to stream in full screen, it didn't work at all. I mean, the, the sound was totally, uh, was, was terrible. And, and same with my webcam. So much stuttering and, and the sound uh, had some uh, lag like crazy. So that didn't work. So for me, and I also think you should try this, is to not add anything here. Just let this be totally empty. Then in NVIDIA Broadcast, which is the next step from here. Um, let's see there. Oh, here it is. NVIDIA Broadcast. Uh, this is, by the way, if you would like to see the version, this is version 1.3.5.4, which I think is the latest version of NVIDIA Broadcast. I tried to update all the software and all the drivers. That didn't help. However, this is the version I'm using and it's working. As a microphone input, I have shows Wavelink microphone FX. Uh, you can, of course, show just Wavelink microphone if you want. That's only, that's only mean that if you in the future add an effect here, 
will not come true to a media broadcast. So my recommendation is to show Wavelink microphone FX. I'm not any sound expert or anything like that, but this is just how I got it to work. So Wavelink microphone FX as a microphone input, and I add the noise cancelling effect, and I also add the uh, uh, remove of uh, room's echo effect here, which is a beta. But um, that wasn't a problem. I actually tried to just have this effect added in Wavelink and same, it's, it didn't work. Um, that's, that's the thing I have done here in NVIDIA Broadcast. I have tried to mix also with the camera settings here. You see the, the picture is frozen and uh, this you don't need to care about this at all because we will not use NVIDIA Broadcast at all for the camera, for the webcam, just the microphone. Just the microphone. So here in, in camera settings, you can you don't need to do anything whatsoever. We will all uh, do this directly from OBS, which have filter and all um, included in the OBS. So let's go to OBS now and see what we have done here. And you see it's look terrible because I'm recording my screen uh, <laughs> where you can see a window of, of OBS and did that you have a window of OBS and, and so on. However, what I have done is first we go to archive and uh, and uh, settings. Uh, we go down to audio. As desktop sound, the first one, I have chosen Wavelink browser. And as desktop sound 2, I chose Wavelink game. And the reason for that is because if I want to use NVIDIA RTX SDK to be able to to remove some background noise and room echo. Uh, that will also affect the, it will also filter away a lot of other sounds that I really want in my stream. I want the game sound and I want to be able to play a YouTube video or, or music from my browser. And I don't want the NVIDIA SDK to think that that is background noise, which is which it uh, does, at least it did for me. So. So therefore I add those two as desktop sound one and desktop sound two. As my microphone, I have uh, added microphone and video broadcast. And as my extra microphone here, I just use uh, voice mode, which if you don't use voice mode, you don't need to care about this at all. This is just me to be, I want me, uh, I want to be able to, to use voice mode in my stream to change my voice and play some sound. So this is how uh, my settings are look like. Now let's go first to NVIDIA Broadcast Mic. Uh, I think for you, if you try this, this will not be named NVIDIA Broadcast Mic. It's just me that have uh, renamed it from the default name. And the default name, I think it's AVX1 or AVX2 or something like that. You can just, if you add this and it says AVX1 or 2, and you still see that the uh, those meters here are moving, which means it's picking up sound, and you just can go click on those three dots here, and you can change name here. Um, however, how I've done this is if you go to properties, you can see I use choose microphone and video broadcast. That's it. Um, and therefore it's picking up the sound that NVIDIA broadcast is sending out. And... Uh, I can just demonstrate how how it's doing this and how good it's working. As my, you see now, um, remove OBS so it's clearer. As you can see now, here is my NVIDIA broadcast window, and I have those effects added. So if I clap my hands now, I don't think you will hear this. At least you won't hear this very good. Uh, and if I try to write something, I have a keyboard with brown MX switches, I think it is, so they're very loud. If I, right now, you probably don't hear that either very well, or if, you know, maybe you don't hear it at all. If I remove those, if I remove those uh, extra effect, I think you can hear my clap much better, and also if I, Try to write on the keyboard. I think you will hear uh, that a lot better than before. But I don't want you to hear that. Filter away. Remove uh, room uh, background noise and room's echo. 
now I enable them again, and hopefully you don't hear that. Um, okay, so back to OBS again, and uh, when it's come to that, that was the audio, the uh, microphone audio. When it's come to the webcam. Uh, I actually don't use NVIDIA Broadcast, as I told you before. You can see here, for example, if I click, this is Elgato Facecam. And if I go to properties here, you can see I, I use Elgato Facecam. I'm not using NVIDIA Broadcast, just Elgato Facecam. And here I haven't changed anything. Uh, if I go to filter, I have uh, used, first of all, I use some LUTs, color LUTs color correction filter. But the thing is here that I can also use NVIDIA backgrounds removal, uh, which you can find if you click this plus button here, you can find here, NVIDIA backgrounds removal. Uh, and here I can of course change how much it will filter away. You have to try this uh, for yourself and see what's working for you. If you have a green screen, that's of course so much better, but, and I have a green screen, but I'm not using it now. Uh, so you can just use this, and um, the video will work, and the audio are now working. Just let me demonstrate this, because uh, when I first tried everything according to the documentation on their webpage, it seems to work, but as soon as I started the game, it didn't work. So let me just start the game here, and show you that it's work, work also in a game. Uh, so let me start up uh, Star Citizen, why not? Actually one of the games that starts fastest. So let's do this. Now I can actually change, so I record my game window. Instead of my uh, if, instead of my computer screen, it's it's still loading. So in uh, just twenty seconds or so, you will see the game. No, let's see. Hopefully you will see uh, the game window now, because I see it on my screen. And hopefully you will be able to hear the game music now as well. Um, Okay, I'll start Arena Commander here. Um, single play game, free flight, just launch the game. <coughs> so, this is uh, Star Citizen. Try to explode here. Oh. See that my head uh, is not lagging and hopefully my voice is clear as well. Um, and uh, hopefully the game will run smoothly as well. Even if I'm playing this in 4K and I'm screaming, how's an AK? Yeah. Well, guys, that's it. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully. You like the video and hopefully it will help you so good luck.